Ohio's top lawyer filed suit against the administration seeking to restore a Trump-era ban on abortion referrals that was reversed earlier this month. The action by Republican Attorney General Dave Yost was joined by 11 other states. Yost also once reinstated a rule that requires federally funded family planning clinics to be physically and financially independent of abortion clinics. He says federal law prohibits taxpayer funding of abortion and the money needs to be kept separate. Dear friends, we need to be in prayer for these state attorney generals who have filed suit against the Biden administration. Be in prayer that they continue to stand strong and that other attorney generals will come beside them and standing and speaking for those who have no voice. And who are they? They're the ones that are being aborted. When the federal government wants to use your taxpayer dollars to perform these procedures, and let's just call it what it is, it's murder. And whenever the federal government is doing this and using your money to do so, my friends, not only is that sickening, but it's the sinful nature in which we see today society that calls it normal. Let us be in prayer for our nation that we will repent the blood that is on the hands of our nation where we have stood on the sidelines. Many of us who have said nothing in the pulpits of our churches about defending the life of the unborn. Oh yes, we might have a Sunday once a year where we call it a Sunday that we'll speak out, but let us be vocal. Let us be pro-adoption. Let us be pro-life. Let us do everything we can to prove to the world that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that because we are created in the image of God, that we believe as children of God that every life is valuable. Regardless of that child is is born and that child possibly might have a different color skin than you do or that child might come from a different side of the country that you do, that that child is valuable in the eyes of God. You see, my friends, God expects us to speak out. So what can we do? We speak out and say, this is wrong, this is sinful, and enough is enough. What else do we do? We stand and pray for these attorney generals that are taking a stance for life. And then finally, what do we do? We, we share with others the goodness of God. And while God calls life so valuable, Regardless of what stage of life you're in, God loves you, my friends, and we need to share that message today. God bless you, and thank you for watching Transforming Lives.